Hi, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Kitchen. What do I have for you today? I'm gonna make homemade, from scratch, pure tomato soup. But not just any tomato soup. I'm gonna actually take these wonderful tomatoes on a vine, and I'm gonna throw them in my smoker, my Traeger that is. I'm also gonna take these garlic cloves. I'm gonna smoke them. So we're gonna have smoked tomato soup. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how it's done. Thanks for watching Crane Today's Kitchen. So, welcome back to Crane Today's Kitchen. What are some of the ingredients that we're going to be using today? Well, we got some chicken broth, some salt, some pepper, and as you can see, these are pepper mills, so it's fresh ground pepper and fresh ground sea salt. We got an onion here. We've got the vine ripened tomatoes we're gonna to put in the Traeger. We've got some garlic cloves, but we're gonna actually also put into the Traeger and smoke that. We've got some bay leaves. We've got some sweet basil and some butter. And not shown is some heavy whipping cream. These are the ingredients that we're gonna to use to make the smoked tomato soup. All right guys, so. How do you make the roasted garlic? Well, take a garlic clove, lightly cut it, so it looks kind of like that. Okay, now you can peel these off a little bit, no big deal. So now you have kind of like a exposed little garlic clove there. Okay, don't worry about these. Just you know, kind of throw them in the trash can a little bit. We're gonna grab the other one over here, same thing. We're just gonna kinda of lightly cut the tips off of it. Now, why are we doing the tips for? Well, we're cutting the tips because we want the oil and the salt and everything else to penetrate into the roasted garlic, okay? Now, if one or two of them come off, no, again, no big deal, okay? So now we have these cloves of garlic. I'm gonna set them off to the side real quick. We're gonna add a piece of foil onto the cutting board, okay? Place your roasted garlic into the center. Add a little bit of fresh oil. Now, you can use olive oil, cooking oil, whatever oil you like to use, but just kind of drizzle it right there into the center of your garlic. Now, try to make it sure it doesn't leak. Add a little bit of fresh salt and some fresh pepper. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it up kind of like a little pocket, okay? We're just gonna fold it up and then fold it up again. Just you know, a couple times, just fold it up. So what, essentially what we're doing is we just wanna make a pocket, okay? And kind of press it down and now we have this little pocket. Now, same thing with this other one. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Take the, roti, the garlic again. We're going to add the oil. Now, preferably, you can use olive oil. Uh, I just did not have any olive oil on hand, so I used regular, you know, cooking oil. Again, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Same thing. Pour it over, and we're going to make your little pocket. Just kind of pour it over. No big deal, okay? Nothing fancy, it doesn't have to look all, you know, fancy for, for presentation purposes. No big deal, who's gonna look at this, okay? So now we got the roasted garlic ready to go in to the Traeger. Then, you just, you got your core tomato, throw it away into your sink. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna core all these tomatoes. And again, just kinda, you know, rotate it, push it through and you have a nice, holy tomato. Now, why are we coring these tomatoes? Well, the secret behind that is, I want the smoke to penetrate all throughout this tomato. Okay, so now we got total four of them so far. And the last one, we're gonna do this, and we're just gonna core it again. 
Now these tomatoes were stored in the refrigerator, so it actually makes them very easy to core. What I like to do before I smoke them is I, I like to keep them really super cold. And why is that? Well, because that way there it doesn't get mushy as the smoker warms up. It maintains the coldness, maintains the firmness, but also takes on the wonderful flavor of smoke. Okay guys, remember that onion? We're just gonna go ahead and just kind of do a rough chop real quick, kind of peel it, no big deal. We're not dicing it, okay? All we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of, you know, peel it real quick. Because what are we doing with the onion? Well, guess what? We're smoking a garlic, we're smoking the tomatoes. Ah, okay, so what? Let's smoke some onion too. Throw that into the dish, and we're gonna put all this back into the smoker. So, now we're gonna start the process of getting the Traeger ready. I just got done cleaning it and prepping it, which I showed you guys how to clean the, your grill in a previous video. So now we're gonna get the smoker start running. Well, one of the things we wanna do first is, again, check your hopper, always make sure your pellets are in there. We're just gonna, you know, Fill the pellets up. You fill the pellets up. Now, while we're filling the pellets up, the smoker is on, and it's going to start the process of doing the proper startup procedure, which is to leave the lid open for 10 minutes. But when the smoke is set, we're going to start cooking. So stay tuned. So here, and my wonderful assistant brought me the tray of the different vegetables and garlic. I'm going to open up the Traeger. Look at all that wonderful smoke. And now, we're gonna set this tray into the grill. We're gonna take the garlic, we're gonna separate it from over here, and we're gonna take it over here. We're gonna take this and kind of put it onto the upper portion of the grill. Now you notice, I added an extra smoke above. Why? Because I want the extra smoke in it. We're going to smoke this for about 30 minutes and come back and check on it. I added three quarters of the chicken broth into the pot, okay? And now I'm going to add four tablespoons of butter. Now, how do you tell four tablespoons? Because on the butter packaging, it's marked one, two, three, and four. So into the pot, we're going to add the four tablespoons of butter. And remember those bay leaves? Well, we're gonna add the bay leaves. Now, the thing about the bay leaves, you wanna try to make sure you get some good sized bay leaves. Why? Because you don't wanna be eating this. You wanna fish this out when it's done. So we're gonna set it into the pot, and we're gonna bring it to a boil, and let it boil down to about half the consistency. So we're gonna just let it boil down, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna add the tomatoes. So right now, the tomatoes and the onions and the garlic are still in the smoker. Well, here's that smoked onion. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna chop it up and I'm gonna rough cut it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my blender so that I can go ahead and puree it because I want it nice and diced up before I put it into the pot. Remember those smoked tomatoes? Well, they just came out of the Traeger. Now I'm gonna put those also into my Vitamix to make it into a puree. Now we add the puree mixer to the pot and we added that sweet basil. We added about two to three tablespoons of sweet basil. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix it together and I'm gonna use this perfect smasher thing that I got free from a company called Sultan. Haven't really used it much, so we're gonna see how it works. I basically put it in the pot, put it on, and it mixes it up. Slow speed, not something that I really enjoy too much because it is kind of slow. So I'm not too favored about this particular mixer, but hey, free, what do you want? So now I just got done pulling the smoked garlic off the grill. I went ahead and crushed them and added them into this pot. I also added about a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to go ahead and blend this together. Well guys, now the cream has been mixed into the pot and I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes before serving. Now what's a great companion to serve with the tomato soup is some grilled cheese sandwiches. Well enjoy and thanks for watching Crazy Dave's Kitchen.